Udu CRM. How to use Udu CRM for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at how you can get started with Udu CRM. So let's get into it. Now, Udu is a great platform for you to be able to track your leads, close opportunities, and get your analytics in check for your CRM. And it develops multiple different accurate forecasts. It allows you to have a lot of simple tools that include having your basic revenue expectations, basic analytics, as well as a very comprehensive sales pipeline as well. They also provide you with a real-time overview and you can also connect with your customers. So to get started, all you have to do is head on over to udu.com and then just click on start now, it's free and you can get started absolutely for free. So over here, you just want to enter some of your basic information. So I'm just going to enter this information and I'll get back to you guys in one second. So I have entered all of my information and then I just proceeded with my email verification. Once you have completed your email verification, you're going to be headed over to this screen over here, which is your invitation screen. So I'm going to skip this for now, but we're just going to head on over to our Udu account. So this is what the Udu account is first going to look like. Uh, you're going to see your discuss settings, calendar, CRM, dashboard, and apps. Obviously, we're focusing on the CRM over here. And if you just click on the CRM over here, you're going to find your basic CRM panel. Now, in your basic CRM panel, you guys can see on the top, you have a simple navigation panel where you have your sales, where you can monitor pipeline activities, teams, and customers. Then you have your basic reporting functions such as activities, pipeline, forecast, and leads. And then you have your basic configurations so you can manage your tags. You can search your CRM for a specific item as well. Now to get started with the Udu CRM, let's say we want to get started and we're going to uh, generate some leads. So first off, you can click on generate leads and you can add what do you need, companies and their contacts. And then you can enter the industry that you want them in and you can filter them on size as well, but I would want any size and we're going to add filter on role. Preferred role is consulting and we would click on generate leads over here. Now you guys can see just like that, they have actually provided me with some of the basic information that this kind of basic information extraction is usually paid for on so many other sites. People are charging hundreds of dollars to get this kind of information out of these software. So uh, what we're going to do and we're going to, once you have, you know, all of your uh, sales leads or all of your opportunities added, you want to go on ahead and you want to move them obviously to the next section uh, with the progression of the deal that you're closing with. With each individual, you can add your internal notes as well as send messages. You also have the stages of probability won or lost and you can update it as it goes. You can also click on new over here to create a new individual contact if you uh, don't want to export from anywhere else you can create your own as well now going back into our pipeline you guys can see this is a basic kanban view if you want to change the view and uh you can do that very simply simply by clicking on the top right over here you can view them in a list you also have calendar views you have pivot views you have graph views location and time views as well but i like to use the list or kanban views because it's just easier to manage in this way now, after that, if you take a look in your reporting section, you can click on leads over here to see the number of leads that you are generating. You can choose a specific uh, measure to view this graph at or chart at as well. So if you want days to convert expected revenue, you can choose that as well uh, to see what the overall uh, earnings would be. You can do this in a bar chart, graph or pie chart, as well as cumulative or descending and ascending uh, graphs. Now, if we take a look at some of our sales section, you're going to have all of your activity added over here. You can add or create just new over here and generate new activities that are supposed to be conducted. You also have teams in which you can manage the uh, overall sales. So depending on what team that they are in, you can mark it a certain color. And uh, let's say this is regarding sales. If it's regarding something else, you can manage it in a different cluster. 
Now, if we take a look at the reporting section, we also have our reporting pipeline. So the reporting pipeline is just going to give you a uh, visual analysis or visual cue of the Kanban board where you can see the new and the pre-existing, you know, what stages all of your deals are in, what stages have they reached. So now if we take a look at some of the other features moving on we also have configuration now this is a feature that a lot of people don't really know how to use really uh effectively so you guys can see what is very important is tags tags are something you want to add in all of your leads if you go into sales you go into your pipeline you guys can see you want to make sure you're adding tags into this so you guys can just click on over here you can add a tag so let's say we are closing this deal uh, let's say we're providing life insurance or let's say we're doing employee management we're providing an employee management course to those people so we can add all of those different tags over here to further our business and to make it a lot simpler for us to conduct our business uh and then you can go into configuration and view the tags view everything via a specific tag so this can be super helpful in filtering out what you want to look for another great thing is lost reasons you can find why people are not closing deals with your business so this is a very important reason you can click on any of the action items and you can click on archive or you know add these to you know the list that you're providing you can click on add new and you can have some of the lost reasons added to your crm uh, leads or to your deals and this can be a great way to manage all of that now with the crm you also have this dashboard over here and you also have your app section now the dashboard allows you to manage your crm leads and pipelines in a summary manner you don't need to access all the details you don't need to access everything you can just view the details and get on with it this is especially helpful if you're having to share this with managers or you know higher ups in your business and you also have configurations of your dashboard that you can set up you can also integrate other applications so if you want to have invoicing inventory sales or anything else directed into your CRM you can also add that and it's pretty simple and easy just click on install over here it takes a couple of seconds to install and you're going to be able to then integrate that feature into your CRM directly. And if you want to manage your contact, you can do it directly from over here and you can start creating uh, contact sections for all of your employees as well as individuals or companies that you're working with. So you also have tax IDs, tags, as well as addresses, sale and purchase and just internal notes that you don't have to share with anybody. Those would be private notes that you can keep with each individual individual that you have in your business so so let's say we have janet and we can just click on add new and you know we're just going to add you know their email and whatnot to be able to just complete the section now this also has a general inbox section where you know your uh, team members or people that you are working with can conduct uh, chats and they can communicate this is especially helpful in managing deadlines with your crm obviously deals need to be closed and there needs to be a time efficient manner to complete this so this is just going to be a general area for team discussions and more now if we head on over back to the crm you're going to see on the crm on the top right you can create shortcuts over here to be able to see a, a generalized section now if you move anything into your one section let's say something falls through after you want it so for that you can create a new section on the right side so if you scroll you can create a new section which might be failed deals over here you can move those let's say we have you know multiple different levels of our pipeline so you can add all of those over here and with each individual deal you can add your probability expected revenues to get a more accurate graph as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with the udo crm make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video